Hi, it's Jason and Dolph, Principals here in Basingstoke, and today we're talking about the new Aqua Dimax 2.0 shaft. Very clever how they've done this, the guys at Aqua. Some of you might have used or seen the SC or the SE range of shafts they had a few years ago out. Luke Donald's still got one in his driver right now. But this is a brand new shaft out, and it's very clever how they've done it. They've put it into three categories. The MT is the middle version, the mid-tip. So that kind of sits in the middle with tip flexion. Then you've got the ST, which is a stable, very strong tip. Lower launching, lower spinning, more for the stronger guy. And at the bottom you've got the RT, responsive tip, or the softer bottom, to give you more launch, a bit more spin. Three shafts give you three different properties, three different launches. Again, what is clever about this is they've fitted in a fairway shaft into each of the range and a hybrid shaft into each of the range. That means you can keep the feel consistent throughout the woods, hybrids, fairways, driver, as you see fit. It's an interesting concept. I've always gone down the idea that each one has to be fit as an individual, and we take a view on that. But having worked with it for a little bit, I can see what they've done. I like it. I think it's got some definite mileage and some traction. And we'll see how the tour players react to this when it starts getting out there in the next few weeks on the US tour. Uh, it's very interesting on the US tour right now that Tiger, in his press conference yesterday at the Greenbrier, was talking about how much the younger guys are getting better quicker through the college system or through just being out on tour younger. And they're working with Trackman, they're working with Flightscope, but not with Trackman, getting their numbers and getting the feel of what perfect in terms of pass, spin, launch. They're just getting better younger. And Tiger even made that comment yesterday, which is very interesting. So those of you who can and work on your numbers and data, uh, launch monitor site, I'd encourage you to do that. Because you can keep a record of how you're improving, or if you're working on something, are you working on the right things? I would always be very careful how you practice with a purpose. That is so important. When you practice, you work on something, what is the purpose? As a friend of mine called Dave Already who works with Luke Donald, and everything he does with Luke is about having a purpose. Every shot you hit must have a goal. Very important for you when you practice. Practice with a purpose. Watch out for that. I'll talk more about that later on.